All right, y'all, I'm super excited to be learning about three and four wire dryer and range plugs. Let's go ahead and jump into it. So this is a three prong. If you notice here, it has three locations that can plug in. We're gonna learn about that here in just a minute. This is your four prong. And that's a little bit different shape for dryers and for ranges, but it's the same principle, just at a higher amperage. So we're only showing dryers here today, but everything you're gonna learn is universal. So when we look at this here, and one thing I want to point out is the two that we're looking at here are called your recessed receptacles. And this is what I mean by that. This one here is what this would look like as a finished product. And if you notice, this is your drywall. We have a normal size faceplate, and then it does protrude a little bit, but all of the mechanics are inside the back here, aren't they? Where we did the wiring, the terminations, and everything else, they're inside the wall inside of a junction box. And this is here. That's why we call this the recess version. It's recessed into the wall. And then you would access it right here. Now there's benefits to doing recessed. You have a little bit more room. Um, it's a little bit sleeker look. You don't ever have to fiddle with it. You don't ever have to worry about it coming out of the wall. And now let's learn about the surface mount version. Okay, so this is the surface mount three wire. And this is the surface mount four wire. And it's just like it sounds, these will actually mount directly to the surface. So this is the drywall in the back. This is what the finished product ends up looking like. And it is mounted and it does stick out about what, two and a half, three inches. So you have to, you know, compensate for that. You have to make sure that you locate this receptacle where it's not gonna jam against the back of your, you know, your range or whatever, or your dryer, whichever one you're setting up. So these it just takes a little bit more Typically, if we're rewiring something, we're always going to use surface mount. A lot of times, if it's new construction, we'll use recessed, but a lot of times we'll use surface mount as well because we don't know where everything's going to land perfectly in there, you know, sometimes in the kitchen layout. So we'll just poke a hole up and or leave it whipped up down in the crawl space of the basement and poke it up later and do a surface mount like this. So this is your three and four wire dryer and range receptacles and that is the difference between the surface mount and the flush mount i can't wait to get with you tomorrow we're really going to dive deep into both of these um receptacles cords that you need let's get to it hey,